A Ponzi scheme is an investment fraud that supposedly offers investors low risk and high profit. Although investors believe that their profits come from successful business activities, in reality, there aren't any business activities or profit. New investors are the source of the funds, and the profit is just a redistribution of money that's collected from investors. Suppose that you have $1,000 and my offer is 20% payback every month. That means you'll get $200 at the end of the first month, $200 at the end of the second month, $200 at the end of the third month, and so on. After just five months, your money has doubled. 1,000 profit plus $1,000 your capital. It sounds like magic, but it isn't sustainable. Let's see why it's a dead end. Although Ponzi schemes can be very complex, let's keep ours simple and say that every month 10 people join the scheme and each of them invest $10,000. They'll get 20% payback every month. In the first month, 10 people join and $100,000 is collected. In the second month, 10 people join, $100,000 is collected and 20,000 is paid back to people who joined in the first month. The total money will be $180,000. In the third month, 10 people join, $100,000 is collected, and $40,000 is paid back to people who joined in the first and second months. The total money will be $240,000. In the fourth month, 10 people join, $100,000 is collected, and $60,000 is paid back to people who joined in the first, second, and third months. The total money will be $280,000. In the fifth month, 10 people join, $100,000 is collected, and $80,000 is paid back to people who join in the first, second, third, and fourth months. The total money will be $300,000. In the sixth month, 10 people join, $100,000 is collected, and $100,000 is paid back to people who joined in the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth months. The total money will be $300,000. In the seventh month, 10 people join, $100,000 is collected, and $120,000 is paid back to people who joined in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth months. The total money will be $280,000. If you notice, the total money at the end of the six month stops increasing. After six months, the total amount of money begins to drop. And in the 11th month, the total money will be zero. In reality, the total money never drops to zero because the creator of the scheme either disappears or declares bankruptcy when the total money begins to drop. In order for the scheme to survive, the number of new investors each month must be higher than in the previous month and that's impossible to keep up. Eventually, the scheme will collapse. You might think it would be very profitable if you joined the scheme early on, but the problem is you can't know when the scheme has started or when it'll stop. Even if you join at the starting point, there are many uncertainties. When you want to quit, will you be able to get your capital? In our example, in order to earn your capital, the scheme must continue for at least five months, but will it? Finally, let's look at how we can identify a Ponzi scheme. Many Ponzi schemes share common characteristics. Every investment carries some degree of risk. 
If someone offers no or low risk with high earnings, it's a warning sign that it could be a Ponzi scheme. Also, investments tend to go up and down over time. Be skeptical about an investment that regularly generates positive returns regardless of overall market conditions.